guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's going to be a little bit different. I wanted to do a review on an item that's not specifically designed for concealed carry, but I use it almost every time I conceal carry in either a skirt or a dress. So today's item is actually a garter, specifically the Girly Go Garter. So I have two of them here. I have been using these for years, long before I ever concealed carry. And so I've got both the black option and the tan, just depending on what I'm wearing, where I'm wearing. And I'll show you some outfits later, but I wanted to do a little bit of a review on these two items, and specifically comparing it to my Can Can thigh holster, just to show some of the different uses for it, how I use it, and can you use it for concealed carry? And I just want to give a quick shout out to Girly Go Garter for sponsoring this video and helping me out. So as I said before, I've got two options here. I've got both a black in their size number one and a tan in their size number two. As far as I know, they have three different sizes. If that's not correct, I will put that somewhere up here. But they are both identical, just a difference in the size and color. So this is what it looks like. That's the inside. So like I said, I've had this for years. So I wanted something that would help me carry like during the summer when I'm wearing dresses, just like my wallet, my phone, my keys, just anything that you would normally put in a purse because I don't carry a purse that often. And I saw this with that lace and absolutely fell in love. So as I showed you, this is what it looks like on the outside. Over here we have the soft loop side of the Velcro with a pretty decent size. I'd say probably about three inches going across. So it is adjustable. And then on the opposite side, you've got that cute, a little gold adornment and then the hook side of the velcro and i really appreciate that they have an inner loop portion so that way when you're storing it it doesn't rub up against the rest of it or tear into the lace so it's very very simple to put on all you have to do is just loop it around and normally you would do this up on your thigh and it just velcros right into place. So all throughout the outside, you actually have a double pocket layer all the way through. So it's very similar to the Alexo leggings, how they have their pockets set up. So on the outside you have, as you can see, it is clear. So it is just the lace on the outside and then this inner pocket, but then in there, you also have another hidden pocket. So this way, if you don't want whatever you have in there to see through, to show through, it can be okay. Or just as an extra option for more pockets. So throughout this whole thing, you can see it a little bit easier on the back side. Each of these stitchings is for one of the pockets. So in total, you've got five sets of pockets. This one down here is a little bit smaller, just, just because of the way it contours. So it does contour so that this side is a little bit smaller. Then on the inside, they have all these rubberized grips to help it stick to the leg. And it really does hold quite well. Here on the tan option, it is the exact same. Since it is one of the bigger sizes, this one actually has six pockets instead of five, but it still has those rubberized grips. You still have your protected Velcro. And I guess right there is where you can see that it says the size, the black, in here is a size three actually so as you can see here if i line up these two ends that this tan one the number two is a little bit longer 
All right, so here I wanted to go over some of the main differences between my Can Can Concealment Thigh Holster and the Girly Build Garter. So as you can see, throughout this Girly Go Garter, the entire thing is just a whole set of double pockets. They are all identical, except as I said, that last one is a little bit smaller towards the bottom. Whereas the Can Can Concealment Thigh Holster, which is specifically designed to be a holster for a gun, has two specific pockets that are kind of cut in this almost triangle shape specifically for firearms and you have this one main pocket in the center and you have another smaller pocket very similar to the Girly Go Garter down here. Another difference is as you can see with this Girly Go Garter it is that velcro, you've got your hooks and then the loops over here whereas with the Can Can Concealment Thigh Holster you have a row of eyes and then some hooks over here but this is also expandable and actually about the same size as that girly go garter is so like i said the can can concealment holster is specifically designed to be a holster for a firearm so here you can see it is an empty magazine the firearm is clear So here you can see these pockets, they have little pull tabs, are specifically designed for a firearm and do have an opening down at the bottom for the muzzle to go through. And they do have right or left sides depending on how you prefer to carry. And so this will actually fit in the pockets for the Girly Go Garter. It does fully cover everything, it is a soft bolster. So in a case like this, where you'd be worried about that trigger getting pulled, I'll just go ahead and take a card of some sort, slide that into that front pocket, the lace pocket, and now you have a hard trigger guard. The biggest difference I can see with these is that the Can Can Concealment is a bit stiffer and thicker of an elastic all the way throughout, whereas this is quite a bit thinner. So it works great for holding other things. I'm not sure if it'll be thick enough to hold a firearm like the shield maybe if it was like an LCP or something a little bit lighter it would work great but let's go ahead and try it out and see what happens so this outfit is just a simple knit dress and since I don't want to worry about carrying around a purse just went ahead and added the girly go garter I do like having that extra little pop of lace underneath there but here I just got my wallet, pocket knife, and key fobs. Yeah, that's all I need for a night out. So now I've seen a couple people ask if it's possible to carry a firearm or some other kind of self-defense weapon in the Girly Go Garter. So I thought I'd go ahead and give that a try. Today is just a pretty simple little holiday outfit that I would wear for an evening out. Just a nice little top, a flowy skirt, and some cute little red pumps. And skirts like this are my preferred type of skirt just because it is more flowy so it allows me to carry on the outside of the thigh rather than on the inside. So that's what I'm doing today with this Girly Go Garter. And then since it is that double pocket system, I have my Smith & Wesson shield here in that back pocket, and then grocery card up in front. It could be a credit card, an ID, your concealed permit. Yeah, now this isn't typically how I would use this garter. I wouldn't use it normally as just a holster itself. How I would use it is like this. Now, even though this dress doesn't have that nice flowy skirt that the other one does, it's quite fitted. This shows a little bit more of how I would typically use my Girly Go Garter when I'm carrying. So since it is a tighter skirt, I did have to go ahead and carry on the inner thigh, which I have here. So I once again have my Smith & Wesson shield in my Can Can Concealment thigh holster. And then I have my Girly Go Garter on the opposite thigh 
So this gives me an option for more pockets to carry everything else. And I've got my wallet here. And then my keys over here, my key fob over here. So I am totally hands-free. shield is on my inner thigh. This girly go garter also acts as, as a shield for my other thigh so that way it's not constantly rubbing as I'm moving around throughout the day. Mm -hmm. 